I mean, we hear a lot of this, but this was a huge data breach involving 2.9 billion social security records held at a Florida-based company, data company. It's led to at least eight class action suits so far. Yeah, the background check business, National Public Data, admitted to the hack by cyber criminals, which put the personal information up for sale. They sold us on the dark web. Oh. I mean, is it all up there now? I mean, is, is there anything that's it. private? So, so yeah. that's why we wanted to provide you the steps that you should be taking after yet another breach has exposed your private details. So, seven on your side, Nina Pineda joins us. Nina, it seems like every other day yeah. we are hearing about another breach. Always. And, and, and Something. Like T-Mobile, Ticketmaster, uh -huh. Target. Yep. It's not really if you're going to get breached, right. it's when, right? Because so much happens Sorry. right here. You know, we're so exposed because we live online and so much of our personal it's banking right information is sitting right here on your phone. It's like the wild, wild west, really. The good guys versus the bad guys. The good guys trying to stay ahead of the bad guys, these cyber attacks. Let's look first at what was stolen, okay? What's up for sale for potentially millions of Americans is this. Your email, your phone numbers, oh. your social security numbers, oh. your name, of course. Um, and what makes this so sensitive is that if you, if someone has your email, which is money for hackers, they can contact you pretending to be someone else. Then, boom, they got your phone number. That's multi-factor authentication, baby. That means they can hack you and then send you a right. code or a text to fish and pretend they're you. So that doesn't even work. And then multi-factor doesn't even work. And then, and then you got the social, your social security numbers, which really make you you, you. in this country, right. Right. linked with your mailing address. Folks, that is the keys to your digital kingdom and the way to unlock and steal your identity. Boom. Someone else oh. is you. Absolutely. That is um, quite scary. Yeah. I hope you're, really I, hope you're I mean, a lot of listening. us have tuned out by now, yeah. but try to tune back in. Since this got Social Security mm -hmm. numbers, yeah. to me, that's a whole new ballgame. It's yeah. a big layer. Right? And the SSA, they're not happy, Sam. I mean, this is a, with the potential to expose billions of dollars in these monthly benefits that people rely on. It's making it easier for people to pretend you're they're the Social Security Administration, and then they call you and say, hi, this is the SSA. Um, we're going to verify this breach. We need your bank account details. So your Social Security number is widely used by the federal government. Banks, investment companies, you know, insurers to verify that you're you. So we reached out to the SSA. The agency said to do these three things. First, contact the FTC, file a, a complaint. Also, file a report with the local police, and you really have to monitor your credit report and report fraud to the credit agencies. This is really important for you to look at your credit, because since your SSA number's out there, it's really easy for someone to open credit in your account. The, uh, some of these companies put up a free way to check. This is super scary. I put in my phone number. I mean, I put in my name, just my name and the state where I live, plus my birth year. Don't put in anything more than that to mm. test it. Don't put in your full birth date. Don't put in your full social security number. Okay. This cyber firm pen tester is offering a free way to check. Guess what bounced back? <laughs> Guess my uh. birth date and my social security number. They mask oh. the numbers, but when you see them there exposed, that is really frightening because all I did was check and boom, it returned. It kind of mixed up the records. It put my husband's social security number with my birth date because we're tied together on our mortgage. Sure. Okay. So the records are kind of, that are exposed are a little bit jumbled, yeah. but it was all right there. That's scary. So what are you supposed to do if something frightening like that happens? Um, you should consider doing a couple of things. Okay. First, put either a fraud alert or a credit freeze on your account, and they're a little bit different. A fraud alert is this extra layer of protection. It requires creditors to take steps to verify your ID, like multi-factor authentication. And you can enable a fraud alert by calling just one agency. They have to call each other by law. Law. Credit freeze is like a, a harder lock. They, um, you can, you have to call all three credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion separately. They'll generate you a pin or a password to freeze your credit. This also does a very important thing because it blocks creditors' access to your credit report, so no one can open credit and, and, and tell, and, and tell you thaw it. The, there's pros and cons. The pros are it's free to freeze your credit, it prevents opening any fraud accounts, and it gives you this incredible peace of mind because our info is just floating out there. The cons are it's really inconvenient because 
say you go to you know TJ Maxx, you want to open mm -hmm. a, uh, an account, all of a sudden they're like, no, you can't because you froze your account. You have to okay. get in and unfreeze it, which requires contacting the credit agencies. And then when you got to remember that pin and password. If you're the kind of person like me that never remembers the pin, even exactly. to log on to our email here at work, yeah. if you Whoa. lose that, it's going to be really hard because then you have to jump through hoops to get your credit. Unfreeze. To break into your own stuff, right? And right. it's not. It's that not you even, froze in the first yes. place. Yeah. And it's not even 100% guaranteed this to is do all that. Just yeah. Work. So, so far, a national data breach isn't even offering anything like free credit monitoring to individuals. Well, they should be forced to. They, you know, Ticketmaster when they had their account, they right. offered to everybody that free credit monitoring for a year. Yeah. So the big takeaway from this: watch your accounts really carefully. Mm -hmm. Make sure you know if someone's trying to open credit in your name. And you can do this by looking. You have to look, and it's really look. important to do that now. You have to look, you have to check, and you have to watch where your money's coming in and out because guess what? We're all exposed. So we can okay. check our credit and we can check our records free. TransUnion, Experian, mm -hmm. and TransUnion. Yeah, right? everybody gets a couple Once free a year. Once a year, right? yeah, or a couple free. Okay. And then some people sign up for that free monitoring. I don't know. A lot of people have. $20 a month, peace of mind, it monitors right. it for you. Can Very for important, it. if anybody calls you right now saying this is the SSA or saying we're going to verify that you, you're in this breach or we want you to pay money to get you out of this breach, hang up, delete, that's 100% a scam. Okay. Wow. And a little they clue never call if you, you haven't checked that right. your, your information's out exactly. there. Yeah. Just assume it's out there. <laughs> wow, Nina, that was eye-opening. And then, <laughs> if you want to check later, we put all the ways to check on our website. I'll check for all of you when we go off air. Okay, Aww. great. I guess I'm going to just Thank go you, back Nina. to cash. <laughs> Thanks, Nina. I mean, you can't do anything. Cash is king. I know. King. I, know. Yeah, right? I, I felt your reaction yeah. through that whole thing because no. it's kind of like there's just so much information there, and you you gotta just you gotta take it by the you know. But the thing now. is that you really I took away take from that. The one thing was. Now you have to check your stuff. Yeah, always. You do. So if you're a regular person who right. doesn't regularly check everything, now you need to check your balances.